Do you pray for the souls in Purgatory? Purgatory is real and the suffering souls there need our prayers so that they can be released from that place and go to heaven. Our saint today, Saint Nicholas of Tolentino, is the patron of the souls in Purgatory. This attribute was proclaimed by Pope Leo XIII in 1884 due to his prayers and penances for the poor souls. St. Nicholas was born Nicola Gurut in 1245 in Pontano, Italy. His name was taken from St. Nicholas of Myra, at whose shrine his pious parents prayed to have a child. St. Nicholas of Myra is the saint associated with Santa Claus. St. Nicholas of Tolentino was brought up as a very devout child of God. He was studious, kind, gentle, recollected, and prayerful. At age 18, he entered the Augustinian convent to become a monk. When he was 25 years old, he was ordained priest and was sent to Tolentino, a place near Pontano. He became a very generous and holy priest. He gave alms to the needy and visited the poor and the criminals. He worked hard to fight the decline of religion and morality due to the world's changing lifestyle. He was involved in the civil strife between two groups who wanted to control Italy, the group of the emperor and that of the pope. Naturally, he sided with the pope. Due to his penances and prayers, especially for the souls in purgatory, God blessed him with the gift of working miracles. He was known to be a wonder worker, yet whenever he had done something good for others, he would tell them to keep it for themselves, for he is just an instrument of God. Praying for the souls in purgatory was the characteristic of his spirituality. Once he heard a voice of a friar who just died asking him to pray for his soul. Saint Nicholas prayed for him and afterwards the soul once again told him he was already in heaven due to the prayers offered for him. It is said that following his example, there is a weekly devotion on behalf of the souls in purgatory in the Augustinian convents. One of the great penances of St. Nicholas was fasting. One time, due to too much fasting, he became very weak and could not do his duties. He had a vision of Mary who told him to eat bread marked with a cross and dipped in water. Immediately, he followed what he was told and he got well. He did the same for the sick whom he encountered. This is the origin of the devotion of blessing St. Nicholas's bread which people believe is medicinal. There are stories about this bread in some towns in the Philippines. St. Nicholas died on September 10, 1305. He was canonized on June 5, 1446 by Pope Eugene IV. It is recorded that he was able to bring three dead persons back to life and he had performed 300 miracles. There are many churches dedicated to him throughout the Philippines and in many parts of the world. He is known for his virtues of spirit of prayer, penance, austerity, humility, generosity, and kindness. Lord, you worked miracles of healing and comfort at the hands of Saint Nicholas. Hear all who cry to you for mercy, especially in this time of pandemic, and through him, Help us in every danger of soul and body.